Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and I am here once again with Pastor McLeod. Uh, he's got, he's written some books, as you know, and uh, he's got high records, been a pastor for many years. Great man of God, but I wanted to bring him on to talk about everything from technology. We have transhumanism, Mark of the Beast, chemtrails, the NSA, how everything is monitored, what we say and do, and just kind of piece it together. What are the puzzle pieces that we're seeing and how does the does the Bible talk about this? And you guys know that it does. But uh, for starters, I guess McLeod, uh, Pastor McLeod, what do you see first and foremost as some of the most shocking things that are happening around us in our world right now? I, I think with artificial intelligence, the way it's unfolding right now, this um, we have top uh, the theoretical physicists like Michelle. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> it's hard to say. Michio Kako saying, Michio Kako. <laughs> saying that you know this is the artificial intelligence is going to re outpace the automobile industry. I mean, it's going to be much more significant than it. So everything's going to have artificial intelligence involved, plus with you know uh, in microchip implants in the brains. And I mean, this is where it's going. It's not that it's it's, it's coming. It's now. It's here. It's now. Right now. In fact, I should tell you, I, I just came back, I was in the UK, I was back in the UK for November, and I met with a gentleman that had been following me and Ale Mozuli for some years. And he really wanted to meet, and it just so happened that we were able to meet at an undisclosed location, one of my <laughs> friends, childhood friends' homes. Yes. And the first thing he shares with me, Ale was, you know, saying, well, well, ask him if he would do an interview, I'm thinking, he had to sign a secrecy act to, to leave Scot New Scotland Yard. So I asked him, if we, we pixelate your face, change it in your voice, Peter, would you be willing to share some things on record? And he agreed, to my amazement. We, we prayed, of course. He said, I trust you as a pastor. It's the first thing he said, if people knew what was going on in government, they'd all stop paying taxes today. He revealed, I mean, so this is first time knowledge, right? He revealed how he was, when he came on New Scotland Yard, he watched how the government created crises so they can come in as the hero. It's like a you know, dialectic here. Um, they really did this stuff. He, he described it in detail. How most of the police force is Freemasons. You know, at the higher level, they're, they're obviously worshiping the kingdom of darkness. And this is in the UK. And this is in the UK. But it's not too far-fetched for America because it's exactly what's happening uh, in America. Well, that, there's, there's, they're overlapped. Yes. And, and then he, he shared with me at one point where he, his superiors forced him to doctor evidence for court because some of the people that are like over here that are above the law. So he, they had you know, photographic evidence. And this is before you know, Photoshop was really popular. Um, he had adopted the evidence because they, they got caught in the pedophile rings like goes from here all the way to Parliament and he had a doctor evidence so they can be above the law. And you know that's not too uncommonplace. Like here in America we know Operation Northwoods, one that's actually been unclassified through the Freedom for FIOA, Freedom of Information Act and this particular one you know you have a crisis that they were gonna I think it was blow up ships of some sort for Cuba and blame it on uh, another you know, place to bring in war and to start wars like 9-11. 9-11 is the perfect example. Let's start a war on terrorism. What better place to do that when 9-11, which is why it's called a false flag. And we get so much uh, slack and censorship just for even mentioning that. And that's how you know when you're onto something right, is when they try to shut it down, like your friend said, he had a doctor evidence. Well, same thing that uh, they're doing on Google, they're hiding evidence. Same thing they're doing on Facebook, he's hiding evidence. And that's why Facebook is in so much trouble now. It's not because of uh, Cambridge Am Analytics, and I'm sure that has some to do with it, but that's a, a screen, blaming it on Trump, if you will, for the real problem is that they're censoring and degrading people on one side, you're Christian, you're patriot, you're nationalist, those are the things that are being degraded. And uh, same, you were bringing up now technology, Mark of the Beast technology, and how that is so prevalent. We have the technology growing. Aaron Russo even talked about how, I forgot who it was he was talking to, Rockefeller, or well, I think it was Rockefeller. Yeah, I, I, I came that close. David Rockefeller and I were um, together one time. How did that go? <laughs> well, I, it was in my, my rock and roll days. I think he was quite amazed, you know, I hit 
probably purple shoes or something, and he's, he's Mr. Power Blue suit, you know, we're mm. kind of very awkward. Oh, I believe <laughs> it. Bad. <laughs> no I was like, who are you, you know? So people are coming up to me going, don't you realize who you were just talking to? That's David Rockefeller. That's scary though, yeah. because they shouldn't have like be paraded that way, especially with some of the views that they have. And um, so Aaron Russo was one that would talk about how they're looking to do microchip implants. Right. And that is ultimately what they want, some kind of implant, some kind of mark, whatever it is. And then we've got the D-waves, you know, with uh, Gordy Rose and, and all that. I mean, so think about Genesis, the Lord says, you know, um, now nothing they imagine will be impossible to them, right? Because the people are one. The Tower of Babel, we've got the modern day Tower of Babel with the internet. I think something else is coming that possibly is going to be more sophisticated than the internet. But, and that's for another story. And um, so we've got the D Wave computer, um, it's got the equivalency of, of having 7 billion brains all connected at one time, meaning nothing shall be impossible to them. That's like how many people are in the world today. That's a scary thought because they're definitely going to outsmart humanity. Could that could that cause problems in the future? I, I think um, our friend Ross Dista, you know, talked about very possibly the Antichrist that's already existing. And I, when I study uh, the scriptures, and it, to me it looks like you know, and Daniel it describes him having metal uh, teeth and other parts, the components. So I'm just going, we're looking at artificial intelligence, and I, you can clearly see how people. Will, will bow down and, and idolize something with the intel, uh, superior intelligence. They do it already. So you're saying it's possible the Antichrist could not be a human per se, but maybe some kind of AI tech. I, I think he may be a combination, like which is what they're trying to do with us now. Is, is like we uh, were just talking briefly about how we've, uh, last year that he had primates that he had uh, se severe spinal injuries. But because they were able to put in micro uh, chips, um, which you know they're developing as we're talking, and suddenly the primates, you know, were able to behave normal, like you know they were able to connect the, the parts that were no longer working. And now uh, they're, they're totally functioning as, as they've never got injured in the first place. So they're obviously going to be doing that and offering that to people, which will seem like a wonderful thing. I mean, if somebody's in, in a wheelchair and you can offer them some to kind walk of in, again. some kind of computerized the chip inside the body and suddenly, yeah, um, fixing all time, you know, and all the rest of it. I mean, it's, so it's all going to be packaged in such a way that people are just going to, you know, if you don't know better, you're just going to embrace this gift of technology. And that's the hard thing. It is good that those things are getting fixed. What is the bad line that could happen? What is, what is the bad side of that? Well, you can clearly see that the kingdom of darkness has got its, its tentacles in there. So it, it, I, I think what, it, in a nutshell, what it's coming to is a point where, um, like with the smart dust, um, which has now infiltrated everyone, you've breathed it in. From the chemtrails. Uh, it, oh, okay, so it's, it's got a, a hundred year lifespan without the battery, right? You've got companies like IBM that have been producing this stuff, working on its development. It's very possible. Now, the, the demonic realm obviously speaks to people. That's why we have Second Corinthians ten five, you know, taking every thought captive to the means of Christ, casting on every high thing and try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God, right? Um, it's coming through your imagination. So now with the artificial intelligence and, and mind manipulation, it's gonna go right to, to you know, somebody can see somebody going, they're hearing a voice in their head saying, just accept the new world order. You need to be part of the new world order. And you say, Okay, you give them permission, and now you're zombieized. It's over, unredeemable. Hmm, that's interesting. And uh, you know, there, there are so many ways that things could go uh, in the future that, I, I think that the problem with some of the technology is like you said, is because it can't, while it can be used to fix your legs and make somebody walk these, or, or stop all, Alzheimer's, all these things are good. But the, if you put that in somebody who's corrupt enough in our heads or whatever, they can also use it to manipulate and mind control, mess with the brain. And history tells us that that has already happened. We could look at MK Ultra, Project Monarch, we could look at Acorn, all these different things. The government has 
openly, admittedly experimented on military personnel, uh, on those in institutions. These are admitted facts I've shown on my channel, actual documents, again, through FIOA, that you can get on the internet. And so there's nothing going forward that's going to draw the line between the two. Is that correct? I think we're watching the church divide every day, wider and wider. We've got the superficial, tickle my ear kind of churches, right? And mm -hmm. Well, you know, in the, in the latter days, some will depart from the faith, right? And then we've got the supernatural church with signs, wonders, healings, and miracles still manifesting because the Lord is, you know, real and He's interacting with us. Well, that's the thing. You have Satanists, Wicca, witches, all of that, who are practicing satanic things and actually seeing manifestations. Then we have the other side. If you're seeing it on the, on the left, if you will, you're going to see it on the right. You're going to see it. And God is so much more powerful than anything that, that Satan has. And that's why a lot, I mean, it's heartbreaking what the church is doing because they've fallen so far that they ignore uh, the miracles. They ignore prophecy. They ignore what's going on in the skies, you know, with UFOs and the deception that could come in the last eight. They don't talk about it or Nephilim or fallen angels. They leave it out. And then you have the other side that is people like you who are actually sharing a good message. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> well, delighted to be able to share with you again. Love your, your work. I um, mean, just pray for you and, and divine protection always in the almighty name of Jesus. Thank and you. And for all your, your viewers. Amen to that. Well, um, share um, your website information, any of that, any books you want to share, go ahead and uh, let them know. You can check us out at the upper room fellowship org. And there's a listing of books there, and as well as music CDs, and yeah. doing some work with Rick Derringer again after oh, nice. some of the 70s. We're doing a, <laughs> an event coming up, um, bringing awareness to the drug era, and still doing some work with uh, my mate Tommy James and the Shondells. So, lots of fun going on. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you guys again for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to check out noblegoldinvestments.com. And I'm Lisa Haven, and that's Pastor McLeod signing out.